Hey, this is YBR back with Street Legal Racing Redline. We're going to try to take my super amazing drag car to some racetracks and see how well it does. We just got to find an event it can actually participate in. And we're not going to do the drift one because you saw how awful this thing was at drifting the way it's set up. I'm hoping we can find at least one event it'll be able to do. There's one. Uh, it's a drift event, of course, so never mind there. Keep on looking. Here's one. Valo City Hot Action Cop Mood. And it's a five thousand dollar prize if you complete this that is a lot of money and um, that is a beautiful car everybody hates this car but you can't argue with the fact that it is amazingly fast like i'm barely giving it any throttle and it just goes oh there's five cops on my tail this time apparently and for a second while the road in front of me was loading up it looked like there was a jump or something oh i can't cut across there okay I'm just going to keep cruising along. Hopefully none of the cops know I'm here. Eventually they have to give up. I mean, I could just floor it and lose them all in a second if I wanted to like this. But then the likelihood of me crashing increases significantly. So I don't really want to do that. I just can do that. Only two cops on my tail right now. Actually, the car feels slower than normal for some reason. Is it starting to fall apart on me? Oh, there's the one cop that's left. He's crashed into a truck or something. Oh, now there's three cops. Apparently, uh, I ran into the cops or something. I don't even see any, but there's three chasing me. If I floor it, maybe... Okay, now leave the public places. So that means just gun it, right? Don't crash. If I'm going that fast, I will crash. Because I was like 200 miles per hour doing those conversions in my head. But it's about 200 miles per hour, which is way too fast to be trying to swerve through traffic at this point i feel like the cops aren't gonna find me the connection is lost i can slow down and then i made five thousand dollars in about a minute and a half still slower than drag racing but it was pretty easy overall and hey we get a little gold medal for it that's what i like is my gold medals chase finished and i want to take a look at this car did i like do something to it to make it slower or do i just remember it being faster in my mind, I'm just thinking this may be the fastest car in the game, which might not actually be the truth if the turbos ever get fixed. I still think it's faster than it would be if the turbos were working properly, but let me make sure. Okay, turbos are running 10.5 bars of boost, so those are still totally glitched out and absolutely absurd. And I'm curious, how much would it cost to actually just fully repair this thing? Because I'm pretty sure the frame is about to break, or the chassis is about to break. It's at 7% damage. So if I crash this into a wall at a reasonable speed, it'll be destroyed. And it costs $24,000 to fix it, and then it'll still have no body panels. So maybe it's time to get a new car for this engine. The engine is an absolute beast. The rest of the car does not match. Now, I would shove it into a muscle car, but you can't. Unfortunately, in this version of the game, you can only put an inline six in a car that comes with an inline six. Even though, technically, I see absolutely no reason you couldn't put an inline six in this car it has a big engine bay that could fit a v8 it could fit a small inline six with the most absurd turbo setup in the world then we have another one with a v8 that one's an inline four plus is front wheel drive so you don't want that and that one is the same situation there so we're going to just skip ahead one more day and take a look at the store or joe's dealership once again two more v8ers and there is my new devil sport maybe i kind of want to get a different body like that's just this, that's too similar. It's the exact same car. I wanted to throw the engine like a new body to give it a whole new feel to it and stuff. Not make it the same car. Come on, give me something to work with here, game. Give me something to work with. I want the Yoda body. That's what I want is the Yoda. We don't got any here. That's a front wheel drive. Yep, that's a... What is that one? That is also a front wheel drive. You would not think it based on the body style, but as far as I can tell, that engine is pointed in the direction where if it's inline engine, that's going to be front wheel drive. There's a coupe sport, which is, again, basically the same car I have. Not what I want to do. Next day, come on, Joe, get me something good. That's an inline four in the back. If it was an inline six in the back, oh, I would be using it. That is the same we saw earlier. That is just a bland economy car. Try again. By the way, I'm losing reputation every time I do this. But I don't care. I'm just trying to get my goal. And I can't do it because I can't find the right thing. Although I almost want to buy 
that mid-engine car just because it is kind of cool to have a mid-engine car. It won't be as fast as the one I have, but it'd be pretty cool compared to the one I have. I'm pretty sure that is, once again, a front-wheel drive. Yes, it is. That one's also a front-wheel drive, and this car is just calling my name, except it doesn't have a door, and the other one was cheaper and not worth it. Try again. I will find a car one day. Oh, look at it. Oh! <laughs> I should buy that. Okay, screw my old players. We are buying this. 700 horsepower engine stock. Yeah. What? It's almost 4,500 kilograms of weight? This thing is going to be weird, I bet, to drive. So I'm going to read this whole thing about to you. About the PFAA Naxxus Lux 4000. Being expensive and prestigious. Prestigious. <laughs> I don't know what I just... Prestigious. I don't know why that made me laugh so bad. The Naxxus line was extended by the Lux 4000 model in 2004. This car is an alive exception. It's almost 4,500 kilograms of weight, but the brand name 7.0 liter prime 700 horsepower engine handles it well. In addition, the classic prime suspension was enhanced by the new wide 15 inch drag wheels that keep perfect handling even on extremely high speeds. This shocking car has gained four awards on the Volo City Supercar Show and many racers loved it. Let's go, that's my new baby. We got supercar status up in here. Does it actually work or do I have to put some money into this to fix it up? It is functional, awesome. And apparently it has negative ground clearance. We have negative ground clearance. I don't know. I don't know. This thing sits 18 inches into the ground, apparently. And I'm thinking, what engine upgrades do we have on this? This Is is this the V12 or the V16s this game has? Uh, Prime DLH intake. I think oh, I just, I could just yank it off and look at the uh, actual cylinders. I can't tell from here. Well, actually, I might be able to. But here we go. We just say bye-bye. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. What? It's only a V8? I did not see that coming. I figured this thing would be like a V12 or something, but this is just a V8. Pretty sure we could shove some sort of uh, extra power making device onto this. I don't know if it'd be a turbo or a supercharger. Looks like it's going to be a supercharger. And it would be that one. And then if we do that, we also have to buy a bunch of accessory parts, like the belts and stuff, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get that install it and then we'll see what parts it says i need we might also need to change up the whole top of the engine basically let's see what happens here all right so we're gonna have to remove the carburetors really a carbureted engine in this that seems so illogical why would you have a carbureted engine in a 2004 supercar what is that absolutely illogical so we'll put that on though gonna go back to the shop go to the engine we're gonna go to V8 and then we need to probably buy some miscellaneous stuff. I'm just looking for the things that I could put on. So like an air filter or a V8 type blower. Yeah, the V8 type blower, we're gonna want that. It'll look good. And everything else, we already got one here. A supercharger belt, that is essential. We're gonna need that driver pulley for the supercharger. Again, essential stuff. And that might be all we need to install the supercharger. So the first thing we're gonna need to put on is the driver pulley then we'll put on the belt then we can put on the v8 type blower oh no you can't put on the blower why oh because the carburetor is not on it you put the carburetor then you put that on and it's perfect what does it look like oh that engine is a little bit taller than the roof line almost well oh uh, maybe might just be about in line with it so with the supercharger i'm kind of curious how much power this makes but first is there any tuning we could do to the supercharger no not really we could tune the air to fuel mixture and some other things like that. But right now, I'm curious. It's a class B? That is not what I expected. It makes more power now, but the class went down. Wait, this is the most illogical car ever. Fuel type is diesel. It is a V8 carbureted diesel supercar. I have never heard of something that absurd before in my life. I thought it was absurd that the latest Corvette used the pushrod engine. No, this takes it to a whole other level. I right, gotta test this thing out then. So we're just gonna go to the test track and try it out. Actually, the body of this thing's in pretty good condition. I expected it to be a lot worse. Oh, and apparently I got a 
A 7 liter diesel engine that can rev past 7,000. This is a very weird vehicle. Oh, I got full manual transmission, no automatic at all. Not bad. Decently fast. I like it. Alright, let's go try racing this thing then. The Dark Ring, club rating of 35 or higher, rear wheel drive, circuit race, and at night, sounds perfect. I even got headlights. My other car didn't even have headlights. Now, hopefully this is a better solution than just shoving the inline six in a new car. I'm pretty sure that would have been a much, much, much faster car, but this is a way cooler looking car. I just hope its looks can compete with these cars. I mean, it looks like it should be way faster than them. Uh, apparently, that's not quite the case, as I'm being taken right there on that straightaway. Oh, this feels a little... Okay, um, I don't know why, but this thing feels really weird going around a corner. That's the only way I can describe this, that just felt weird. How are the brakes? Oh, these brakes are not good at all. Like, I have to slow down so early right there. Alright, I think I could beat these guys, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, no I can't. This thing... You know what? Maybe we should just replace the wheels. I'm noticing the wheels on this thing are like almost reddish. I think that might be why it just feels so awful. At least I hope that's it, because I just dumped $60,000 into this, and if it sucks, I will be really, really sad. So these are the 345 50s, and just take those all off. Yeah, we're going to put this thing on cinder blocks for a second, basically. It's just sitting on the frame. Oh, that is terrible. What a nice car. What a shame to do to it. All right, so let's go. We're gonna go running gear, tires, and we want the 345s. Yeah. Well, actually, I might be able to put the fatter ones on it, but I don't know if I should. For now, we're gonna just stick with the ones that it came with. The fatter ones might not fit because I didn't actually look at the rim size. And then they could just make it handle worse. I don't know. Alright, so if I take it back into that race, it's going to be a waste of a few hundred dollars. I don't care. I'm going to believe in this thing. $400 says it does good. I mean, if this doesn't work out, I got bigger problems to worry about than the $800 I spent into this race. I got to worry about the $60,000 plus I spent on an awful car. I'm pretty sure, though, with these tires, it'll do much better. I'm going to launch it from third gear because it seems like we go through those first gears way too fast. Alright, that was a Beautiful launch. Now let's see about cornering. Okay, it's just as twitchy as ever. And now I can't even keep all four wheels on the ground. Like it feels like the, the left two wheels just want to pick up into the air when I'm going around the corners. That is not the feeling you want to have when you're going around a corner. Because then it's like you got to steer right so the car doesn't lift up. Oh, dude, I don't know about this car at all. Oh, no, no way. Are you serious? What a miserable pile of junk you are. And now you're totaled anyways, and your engine fell out, so I can't even recuperate the cost of buying it. Awesome. This thing's going to be worth like $10,000 in its current state, if that, when I try to go to sell it. Which is what I'm going to do with it, because I have no idea like what I would even keep this thing for. It's terrible. How much money will you give me? $9,000. You know, a couple days ago, I came in here and spent way more on it. Oh, man, that sucks. All right, you know what? Back to the old plan of finding something to throw my inline six engine into. How's that? Because this is what happens when I say, ooh, shiny. I regret it severely. That is yet another car that will not support an inline six engine. We'll go for another day. All that money gone. I cannot believe that. I'm going to have to do some street racing just to make some money. Although when you're in the lead of the street racing, it's kind of hard to make money because you can only do one street race at night. And it's like, well, there's all the racing you can do. I have just really got myself in a situation here. Come on, give me just one car that could take the engine. I swear, if I don't get a car that can take the engine, I'm going to install mods that allows me to put the engine in whatever I want. All right, here's a car. Pretty sure that takes an inline six. Looks like an inline six. Hopefully, I could just shove mine into that and it'll work. We're going to buy it right here. This is my car now. 
We'll go ahead and close the hood on that. And I'm going to want to swap out the tires and that's about it. Besides the engine. We'll pull out my other car. Grab the engine from it. I got a garage of junk. That's what I got. I'll try to grab just the engine in one piece. Perfect. Then we'll grab the rear tires as well. I almost want to grab the whole rear suspension because I remember I upgraded the um, a couple of pieces over here. I think it was and it made it a lot better. We'll see how this one does with the stock ones though. If it feels like it can be better, I'll upgrade it. So first we're going to pop the engine out and make sure we can put this one in. They're both inline six engines, so I'm hoping, yes, we can just do that. Then we're good to go. And I'm hoping the turbo glitch also is still going to be happening here. So let's see here. The turbo glitch might not be happening. It might be. I don't know why I clicked that. That's not what I needed to click. What I needed to click was this and then this. All right, turbo glitch is still going strong. This thing should be a beast. Let's test it. So let's just floor it. Well, doing a little bit of a wheelie. Recover. And yeah, this thing seems to pull just as hard as the other car. That is awesome. And I love that we're going 300 kilometers per hour and it still is pulling. Like this thing is absurd because 300 kilometers per hour is just a tad under 200 miles per hour. The amount of power you need to keep pulling past that speed is crazy. Yet this car can do that. I wouldn't be surprised if we could hit 400 kilometers per hour going down the straightaway right here. We're going to see if we can do that. Now, stopping. That is a concern though. So floor it. 100. 200. Come on. Three. Let's hit four. And then I'm going to slam on the brakes. 400. 400. 400. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. We need a parachute on this thing. And that's without nitrous. I could go and strip the nitrous bottle from my other car and throw it on this one. It'll be even faster when I use the nitrous right there. If I just didn't use nitrous, of course, it would have been the same speed. So that is the first good thing I did in this video. The rest was just a complete waste of time. Well, except when I did the hot action cop thing, that was a good use of time because I made a good amount of money. So let's go ahead and head back to the garage. Grab the nitrous from my other car and throw it onto that one. And then I think we'll be done for this video. Pop that trunk. Give me that. Well, I was lucky that the transmission matched up with the pedals. Otherwise, I would have had to switch it out. That was good. Didn't even think about that until right now. We go to this one. Shove on the bottle of nitrous. And just because I got to see how fast this thing is, let's uh, go ahead and just take it out once more. So we're going to do that same straightaway. This time we're going to use the nitrous. I'm hoping we hit 500 kilometers per hour. We hit 400 so easily, I'm betting we can get five with just a little bit of nitrous. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a little bit of nitrous. We're going to use nitrous the whole way and as much nitrous as possible. I think we can do this. Totally overshot the straightaway. Give myself a really poor start right here to this one. Carefully going and floor it. Nitrous. That's not nitrous. Yo, yes, it is. Nitrous is the same button as honk, apparently. I messed up when I was rebinding my controls. So we're honking our way to 500 kilometers per hour. Oh, come on. Okay, well, 455 ain't half bad. And we are going to ruin this car if I don't quit right there. I don't need to ruin my only good car. I mean, it's a clean looking car that performs well. And I think it might be able to compete in the dark ring. My main concern is just how well it'll take those corners. Probably be better than the other car. Now I actually look like I belong here. Now we all have very similar looking cars before my car looks so much faster than theirs. But in reality, it was the worst because I couldn't go around a single corner. I mean, I guess it's just because it had drag tires in the front and rear. I don't know. Here we go, flooring it, and I don't feel nearly as fast as I did before. In fact, I'm being overtaken, and oh goodness, I cannot steer. Oh, this is, I mean, it's not tipping over, which is great, but the speed that I would have to go around the corners is going to be really, really, really low. I mean, you saw, I got overtook right there, and I was barely hanging on to that corner. 
So that's not going to work either. I would have to actually make a car set up for driving on tracks, which I'll do next time if I decide to do that one. Next thing I really got to worry about is the money because I'm down to $3,000 and that is it. Probably next video, we're going to just be grinding out some money so I can go and buy things like I did in this video. So until then, this has been YBR. I'll see you.